Welcome back. In this demonstration, we're going to look at forming the three-dimensional shapes or three-dimensional forms for our six-cube David Smith sculpture. Before you get started, make sure that all of the line decoration is completed. And the biggest goal is to have the edges nice and square and the corners nice and square and all of the, the cube nice and firmly solid rather than half glued together or kind of floppy or mushy. Um, so as you get started, make sure that your line decorations are completely finished. And then also make sure that you have an orange top glue bottle. You need to unscrew that orange top so that as you um, squeeze the bottle, the glue can squish out. It's different than the red top glue bottles you're maybe used to using in art class. So here, as you start gluing your boxes together, um, put a little line of glue or a little couple dabs of glue and then smear out the glue with your finger. You might want to have a paper towel sitting next to you to wipe your fingers on because they will get dirty. But the idea of um, squishing it out will help the paper adhere more solidly and more evenly. It will keep the paper from warping as you put it together. Now on the first side you can take your one hand, you'll see my left hand here, inside of the box and your right hand on the outside or it doesn't matter just one on the inside one on the outside and hold those edges together firmly if you get that first edge glued nice and square then it should um, help you in the rest of your gluing then here as you can see I again take my finger and gently spread the glue out so that it's more even and it keeps the paper from warping then make sure that you flip down the side that has an X on it so that it's going to be one of those sides that's underneath. You'll see this left tab over here is the last one I'll flip over and make that the top of the cube. Again, putting glue on the inside, smearing it with my finger to even it out, and then flapping the next flap down. All right, as you do this, always kind of holding the inside level and square with your opposite hand and making sure that this last one you get the glue right up to the edges so the paper doesn't peel back from the edge. And there, once you get that last one completed, I like to hold it down on the table and kind of use my fingers on the inside and press firmly against the paper from the inside so that it's, a nice, it's nicely adhered all the way around that edge on the outside. Then the hardest one is putting the, the next layers on. You have to get that tab in and you kind of have to hold your fingers on the inside while you squish with your fingers on the outside to make sure that this edge stays nice and flat and parallel. Then you just follow the same procedure. You might want to have a bone folder at your table so that you can get it inside of the box because um, sometimes as you start working your finger might get a little bit too big or misshape the paper as you're working. So you do want to make sure that um, you get the glue spread evenly and you don't misshape the box as you're gluing it together. And right here I grab a bone folder and show you how you can just kind of slip it underneath there to pull the paper back up and then use that to kind of flatten those edges out gently so that they don't get too squished. Again, you don't want those corners to get smushed. And here's the last one that I do, uh, making sure I get that glue right up to the edge and then gently smoothing it with my finger. Okay, and now that box looks finished. It looks nice on all sides. The edges are, are nice and solid. Okay, now as I go through the next portion here, um, I again do the same gluing maneuver on all of my other boxes. Okay, so I'm going to just fast forward here to the next video and just super fast forward as as you can see um, this goes very quickly um, it's the same procedure with each box the only one that's a little bit different is the rectangular prism but it's not any different enough that you would um, need to think differently about it. it's the same procedure just a different shape so as you do this make sure that each box is well done once you get each box done. We're going to store them into one of the sculpture boxes in the classroom and I'll put it in the sculpture area in the back of the room so that these boxes are no longer flat, they're no longer in your folders, but they're in the sculpture boxes. Um, as you do this, make sure that you have some way to identify your boxes. You know, whether um, they're a different color than the other people at your table or you want to like put your initials on it in pencils that you can erase later but you want to just make sure that your boxes are yours and you get them all you know in the right place and that they're all clearly labeled as yours um, you might have to take a sharpie and kind of redefine some of the lines as you go through once it's all glued together 
Um, but again, we're looking for clear craftsmanship. We want the edges of your box to be looking really nice. Uh, we want the corners of your boxes looking really nice. We want all the line patterns to line up nicely. And uh, we don't want the boxes to look squishy or um, un, uh, unformed. Okay, because as we go to the next step of gluing these all together, you're going to want to make sure that those boxes hold their form nicely because you're going to need to cut some of them open as you go. So when you're done gluing them all together, you should have the two A colors, four B colors, and your one C color. Make sure you clean off your glue tip, put away all of your supplies, and again, make sure that you have your cubes clearly labeled so that when you bring them uh, out the next session, you know whose is whose. And that's how to finish your six cube sculpture um, pieces for your final sculpture for our David Smith session.